fuselage starts by applying filler into the molds. I am using acrylic spray paint from Molotov. This has a high covering power and works super with the releasing wax. Yeah, what machst du hier eigentlich? Auf Englisch müssen wir alles machen. Oh, okay. What, what are you actually doing here? Actually, I am cutting the pieces for the first Harrier fuselage. This two carbon plies is for one half. So we have to cut one, two more and also two plies of 80 gram glass fiber. Let's do it. All right. For cutting the carbon and glass fiber clothes, I'm using an electric cutter, which has a special micro thief blade which is cutting through the fibers like butter and allows also very easily curved cutting. Here we can see the plastic film pattern which I use for perfect fit of the fibers. I roll on the carbon fiber to bring it over to the composite room. Let's go! This rolling on of these fiber pieces is made to keeping them in shape. On its final place the fibers get rolled off again and we can see it has the original shape. René, welches Werkzeug benutzt du eigentlich am häufigsten? Den Lappen. <laughs> da kommt er zum Einsatz. Yeah. Working in a composite shop requires also a lot of cleaning. Otherwise everywhere would be some fibers and dust and uh, that's not what I like. So, are we allowed to book here for cleaning as well? Yes. The room is super clean. Let's go to the glass fiber. These black lines on the table show me the 0, 90 and 45 degree angel to cut the perfect direction on the fiber. <laughs> I was actually not kidding. <laughs> it's it's coming some noise. <laughs> get the molds out of the oven. The molds are spray painted just one day before, so I put them in the oven to heat them up and make sure that the paint is really cured. <laughs> At about 40 degrees was just to, to cure the, the paint. And for how long? About three hours. Here I am preparing a glass fiber stripe, which is later used to overlap both halves. So here we got our carbon rolling. This is to reinforce especially this area where we have these uh, big edges to make the fuselage strong and stiff in this area. Here and some go up and some go straight. Ready for doctoring. For laminating the heavier fuselage I am using an aeronautic approved high quality resin which is called L385 with the H386 hardener. Here I am preparing the tools. This is the special scissor I am using for cutting the fibers. This scissor is very stable, made of stainless steel and it is curved and also has micro sieves on its blade. So what's that? That are the tools we need for laminating that wonderful Harrier fuselage. All right, so that's acetone. acetone. And what's, what's in here? Also acetone, this is for cleaning the tools. Now we put in some micro balloons. These micro balloons are mixed with the resin and produce a very lightweight paste. And some cotton flocks. For giving more stability to the micro balloon paste, I also add some cotton flocks. Just a little bit. And also Tixotrove agent. And also some Tixotrove agent is added to smoothing up the paste. To mix a light and also stable bonding mass. This is for round up the corners. <laughs> and then back packed. After mixing all ingredients in a transparent plastic cup, I put the mass in a plastic bag 
to apply it exact there where it is needed. For laminating I am using three sizes of brushes with strong bristles. The small one especially for impregnating the roving and forming the micro balloon paste and the bigger ones for laminating the fibers. Wherever it's possible I am working with the roll to be fast and consistent. Do you have to hurry now or? Uh, just a little bit because of our flight plans. Oh no, this is not the end. So the first step is done. I covered the whole surface with the resin and next is we want to round up the edges. Especially here I will put in some carbon roving and the other edges I will fill with my um, mixture and with the spec. So let's go. You also do wedding cakes, right? <laughs> While applying the mass, the bag is always pulled to avoid any air bubbles under the paste. Now it's time for the first layer. This is the 80 gram glass fiber and I'm using again the roll on roll off technique to avoid any wrinkles. The 80 gram glass fiber is used to smoothen up the surface right before the more rough carbon fiber. Okay. So the first ply is ready laminated. I make a control for bubbles and after this we can put in the first carbon fiber. To avoid any wrinkles, I am working from the center to the outsides. I am cutting the carbon fiber just where it is absolutely necessary and overlap them right on with an extra piece. This is a carbon roving to reinforce lengthwise. While laminating carbon fibers you have to be extra carefully cause you can't see the bubbles under the layers. Here I am cutting the excess fibers cause of these super sharp scissors I can cut all three at once. So the first half is done. Two plies carbon fiber, one ply glass fiber and it's brimmed. Here I was smoothening the carbon fiber overlapping area with some glass fibers. So both shells are laminated now. And I also added some uh, rovings here and there. They work as frames. They are on both sides. And so no extra frames had to be added. And we have a very good access to all the technique. For instance, the nozzle that will be installed here. Yeah, and all the other things. So there are no frames in the way that could block the installation of the technique for the Harrier. Here we got the, the glass stripes and these glass stripes 
will be bonded here where the both shells come together and this will be done now. So both parts are bonded together. Here we can see the glass track that is installed from front to the end. And in the center there is a bit um, cotton flock and micro balloon mixing between for a good fit of both parts. All along the edge of the mold there are 6 mm threaded bolts installed for very easy and fast assembly. The fuse lash preheated overnight and was afterwards heated in the oven at about 50 degrees for 8 hours. After the molding it follows the trim process and for this I am using air power tools. This is an air power saw and this works very nice on curved edges. Yeah, this was the process how this fuse lash was done. And this fuse lash is quite a massive build. Uh, this is not for the VTOL version of the Harrier. This is for the very early test flight and for the very rough flight testing. So um, the weight of this fuse lash is at the moment uh, 800 grams. I think for the VTOL version is uh, 350 gram absolutely possible. Yeah. But um, here is important that it can withstand hard landing, little crashes, and so on. And also we want to cut in some hatches. We still do not know where we have to cut these hatches, but um, this fuse lash is uh, still stable, even with these opening hatches or with some attachments. And all this is this fuse lash made for. And this carbon fiber could cause some problems with the radio control system. So we decided that we put the antennas up here in the vertical stabilizer. This vertical stabilizer will be 3D printed and covered with glass fiber. So and up here is a very good uh, position for the receivers. And these are the next steps. We are printing the elevators, vertical stabilizers, also new nozzles. Yeah, but this Fuse lash was a very big step forward and this is the first big part of this Harrier project. <music> <music> 